All right. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to, to another Ultimate Horse Simulator game. So, yeah, guys, and guess what? It's a Reagan here again today, guys. I'm back with, a, with another YouTube video. Today, guys, we're back on Ultimate Horse Simulator, playing with what we're doing today, guys. And I wanted to introduce all of you to Navajo and Aqua's brand new foal. You know, in case you guys hadn't seen the last, you know, video that I made with Navajo, yeah, he actually, you know, found a mate uh, named Aqua. So I've been doing some work off camera trying to get them to level 15 so they could have a foal together. And so, yeah, this is their little filly. This is little Rose. She's cute. She's tiny. She's adorable. But, yeah, guys, I thought that maybe since we're doing, you know, like some work off camera that I, you know, could... We're going to getting them up to level 15, so that way they could have a full. Because when you're at level 15, you can breed your horses together. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, let's get, let's get right into it. So, I'm in the process right now of actually trying to collect some rare plants for the humans. I thought that we would just help out the humans a little bit. So, let's gather up all these rare and really weird plants. I almost said rare and weird in the same sentence. That's really, really strange. Okay. Alright, let's just see here, guys. Let's look around and see if I can find these dang it flowers. Okay, I finally found the second... Oh, wait, that... no, that's not it. Okay, what is... Where's this plant at? Okay, let's see here. Man, I really wish it wasn't dark right now, because this is very hard to see. Yeah. Because it is extremely difficult to see where I'm even at. Man, I really wish it wasn't dark right now, because this would be a lot easier to see. Okay, so I'm right on top of it, it looks like. Oh, there it is. Dang, right in front of my own face. Wow, I'm stupid. Okay, let's just see what happens here. Alrighty, we got one more plant. Oh dear, wolves. Okay, I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to make the wolf pack angry. But now I'm just going to run for my life. Ah! Okay. Man, I'm so happy that we finally have a little foal here, guys. Because in, in reality, a wild Mustang herd would consist of one stallion and probably a second one. You know, that's like second in command, I guess you could say. But yeah, the herd, the herd leader is mostly the stallion with probably about eight or maybe even more mares in the wild. And of course, they're full. So yeah, that's pretty much how a wild horse herd functions in the wild. So, so yeah, I can't wait to, you know, raise up little Rose. So, supposedly, she only will become a juvenile when she's, like, at level 5 or so, I've heard. I haven't played this in a while, so I have no idea, you know, how how long it's going to take before Little Rose actually reaches, you know, her adult stage. And I can actually, you know, have her tag along as another official member of the herd. But right now, you guys, let's just go up to this area right here where this last yellow spot is. And then we should be able to be done with the humans for today. Because I really, really, really just want to, like, run around and, you know, just survive as a wild horse. So this is fun when you want to, you know, like, record, like, some role plays or just make up your own with, you know, with, you know, wild horses like this. Because, yeah, you can make up your own storylines, do whatever you want to do. So yeah, it's just like super duper fun. So yeah, pretty much pretty cool. I'm just so happy that little Rose turned into, you know, like a cute little Appaloosa. And I did not give her that coat pattern, just FYI, guys. She randomly spawned in with that. When they reach level 15, you can breed your stallion and your mare as long as they are opposite genders. Um, But yeah, if you wanted to, guys, uh, you could play as the mare and release the stallion. But she has to be a higher level than him. If you are to release him. So, I'm obviously not going to. Because I'm trying to play, you know, this game like very realistically as much as I can. But I do believe there is a unicorn skin color that you can unlock. I do know there's a green one, but I don't know exactly what it does. So, I'm hoping that in the future, guys, when we start playing this a little bit more often. Which I honestly will. Speaking of videos, guys. Let me know in the comments down below. If you want me to play something else besides my animal games. And if you do... What would you like me to play for you? And anyways, guys, also, and also, guys, leave a like on this video, too, if you are also enjoying, you know, these animal games as well. Because, again, though, guys, I'm trying to do the best I can when it comes to recording. Because, again, though, guys, my channel is only a couple months old. So, yeah, I'm still, I'm still learning as time goes on. But everybody has time to learn. So, 
Where is this flower at? Okay, it says I'm right on top of it, but I don't see anything. Okay, where is this flower at? Is it down here? What? Okay, I really hate it when that happens. Sometimes it it breaks. Let's just see here. I hope this isn't inside the rock. Because this will just be completely dang embarrassing if this was inside the rock. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'm going to search around and see if I can find it. Okay, where the heck is this flower at? It shouldn't be this hard to find it. Come on, this shouldn't be hard. Okay, there you are. All right. All right, guys, that's the fourth flower. Now let's head straight back to the village, and let's go give this to the medicine human, I guess you could see. But also, guys, also let me know uh, how much you guys are enjoying my roleplay series. You know, the, dinosaur, the Legend of the Dinosaur Queen. You can even, you know, like, refer to me as the Dinosaur Queen if you want to give me, like, a nickname or something like that. But that's just up to you guys. Anyways... Oh, shoot. Wolves. Not again. Okay. Alright. But yeah, I'm sorry if I'm constantly checking the map, guys. I can't really see where I'm going, so... Yeah, so that's kind of why I'm checking the map, so I can see exactly where I'm going. So, yeah. That's the problem with this, with this game, is that when you don't have your map icon out, it's very easy to get lost. But I think I might know where I'm going now. So yeah, that's why if you're a noob like me, and you guys like if you're a newbie, just kind of like I am, yeah, this this is a little difficult. But don't worry about it, guys. I'll figure it out, okay? But like I said, guys, I am a little rusty, you know, when it comes to recording, because I haven't recorded in a while because we've you know been having some issues with you know neighbors in real life. So yeah, anyways, guys, but let's just get back. You'll do what we were just doing. Anyways, anyways, let's see here. Alright, we're going up to the village right now, and my energy's low again. I really want to get away from those grizzly bears over here so they don't try to eat our faces, or basically eat us, I guess you could say. I don't think, even think a bear could eat a horse. Guys, let me know in the comments down below. Do you guys think a bear could actually eat a horse? Because I'm not entirely sure. I mean, I guess they would, because grizzly bears are both... You know, carnivores and herbivores, and sometimes insectivores, so I don't really know, you know what's going on here. Alright guys, but yeah, we we are, you know, basically going up today, guys. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today, and hanging out with Navajo, Aqua, and their newborn baby filly, Rose. See you guys next time we come back, we will be, you know, trying to get Rose leveled up and raised up so she can... Join us as an official member of the herd. Anyways, guys, have the best horsey day ever, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.